everyone. Today is something special. We are gonna be doing full day of eating. This is something that I think I probably get a message every single day in my DMs, at least one message. Hey, what do you eat every single day? So today we are gonna dive into it. I'm gonna share how I eat when I'm training twice a day and what I do as an athlete. It might be different from what you might be eating every single day, but I think you might gain some insight into how much food I eat and why I eat that much food. Okay, so gotta get the veggies. I actually hope we have the tropical mix, which is my go-to, but I'm not sure if we do actually. That might change the name of Tropicado, but we will use this. Uh, wild berry mix from Costco. So my first meal today is actually just gonna be a smoothie because I am running out of time. It is 7.45 and I'm supposed to be on a meeting in about 14 minutes. So I'm gonna make my famous Tropicado smoothie. You get your proteins, your carbs, and your fats in this smoothie. I love it. And you also get your veggies. Rasmus hates it, but I, <laughs> I think it's so good. So you guys will get to see what that is. Next up, celery. I also got these from Costco. I like them because you can buy organic, but you can also buy in bulk. I can't remember if I added spinach into the smoothie, smoothie, but we're gonna do that today. Um, I got this spinach at Trader Joe's last night because we were out. Again, I buy organic because I like to avoid pesticides and chemicals um, in my food, especially for veggies, fruits, and items that are gonna be more prone to getting chemicals. Avocado, of course you need this, and avocado is so great for your healthy fats. Such a great way to start your morning and help your digestion. Um, if you're not eating avocado in your daily foods, highly recommend it. Last but not least, vanilla puree protein, just to add some protein in there, but this vanilla is so clean, it's not gonna wreck the flavor of the smoothie, which is why I love it. Bad news, it wouldn't be a full day of eating without my scale breaking. So yeah, my scale is not even turning on, and yesterday, I remember this, it wasn't turning on last night, change of batteries, still wasn't working, so now I'm gonna be eyeballing everything which I think is also great for this episode because it's not make or break my diet or my nutrition if I have to eyeball the entire day of food. So I'm gonna give it a go and see how this works out. Forgot to mention almond milk, Trader Joe's. So much for eyeballing this. Voila, now I'm off to my meeting. This day of eating includes the tea or the liquids you drink because I drink a lot of them. This is my go-to green tea in this really big cup. Um, if you wanted to see, I have a humongous tea drawer with so many different teas in here. That is a whole nother vlog, I feel. session I usually carry my supplements with me to the gym to get my protein and carb shake right after training so I can really hit that glycogen window between 15 to 30 minutes to help re refuel my muscles but since I forgot my supplement bag it seems like having quite the day my scale broke and now we're here um, forgot my supplement bag but anyways I'm gonna be making my go-to protein carb shake if I don't bring my supplements to the gym where I can just throw some protein powder in a shaker with water and then do a carb shake right after in some water. So today I'm gonna to be doing my oat dark chocolate banana smoothie, which I will link down below. I have a whole recipe on it, a whole YouTube video. 
Today I'm doing still cut oats because I don't have my normal oats that I do usually use for this type of smoothie. And then dark chocolate protein powder from Puri. And then some almond milk, banana, and dates. And then optional spinach. I did add spinach in this morning's shake, so I might just go without it today. <laughs> smoothie of the day. Bon appetit. Seriously, this smoothie is so good. I don't know if it's just me, but the mixture of oatmeal, banana, one date, some chocolate protein and almond milk, it's seriously, it tastes like a chocolate milkshake, but healthier. Does anyone else drink out of their blender like I do to save dishes. I don't usually always do this, but sometimes when I'm just not feeling like an extra dish, this is what I do. So we'll eat this. I have another meeting now in six minutes, 12 p.m. with one of my sponsors. So I had a meeting this morning with my, one of my sponsors and now I have another one at 12. Then I'm gonna go back to the gym and train at one. I usually do have another lunch meal before training. But I don't know if this is gonna keep me full. I might have some a small little bit of rice and chicken before we head out. And usually midday tea. So I'll have either Earl Grey or matcha. I'll probably do Earl Grey and then I'll do some matcha when I get home. I am tea obsessed. Day of eating. What are you eating? And why do you have a clip in your hair? Try this. You're still a little too sweet for me. Can I take this clip out when I'm filming you? What are you eating? Chicken. I'm stuck. It shouldn't go on the block. Huh? It's not my day of eating. Who wants to see? Who wants to see Rasmus' day of eating? Please comment down below. That's not going to video. Lauren, stop. You look handsome. Okay. Is it filming me? Mm -hmm. Sorry everyone, Rasmus is in charge of the camera behind me. But I just had my protein shake about 40 minutes ago, 50 minutes ago. And I literally should be at the gym in like 15 minutes. So now I'm just making a quick and easy sandwich. Everything, bagel. Rasmus made some shredded chicken. I think we need to do a whole nother YouTube video on how he cooks his meat on the Traeger. Thumbs up if you agree. Some micro greens, so just getting some greens. And I'm gonna make my sandwich. Two hours later. I got finished with my second PM session and I am literally so tired right now. But I'm gonna give you guys what, I don't usually eat this after my PM session. I usually have a protein shake and carbs, but I've already had two smoothies today, so I don't want another protein shake or anything like that. So I'm actually gonna do a Greek yogurt meal with some berries and a little bit of granola. And then I have a meeting here in four minutes, another meeting today, just been going non-stop, so I'm gonna have this on the call. I told you I'm constantly eating. All right, I'm running late for this next call. Okay, it is about 7.45 at night, 7.49 p.m. and I'm about to make Homemade pizza for Ras and I. I've literally been laying on the couch, I'm not even gonna lie, for the past two hours since 
We got off the meeting with the whole Grown Strong crew. It was amazing. We talked about a lot of great things. We have some exciting launches. So many great things planned for the holidays. I cannot wait to share it with you all. But now it's time to eat because today has been a full day of eating and this is actually my first day of eating with you guys so I'm not used to doing something like this and sharing every single thing I eat. But pizza tonight, I'm gonna be make, or doing our cauliflower crust we bought from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna add some homemade toppings on it. Not homemade toppings, I'm gonna add some veggies and some sauce I also bought, bought from Trader Joe's. And then the homemade chicken that Ras made on the Traeger Grill the other night that needs to be cooked tonight. So we'll add that onto our pizza, make some deliciousness, and then hopefully get to enjoy kind of the rest of our night. I mean, usually once we eat, then we'll just go back to work and it's not a very healthy thing that we do. And then we end up working until right before bed. And then literally I go straight to bed, but I'm able to like pass out like a baby. So I will show you guys an inside sneak peek at what my pizza looks like. Sad news, everyone. I feel like this is the day bearer of sad news today. My scale broke earlier. There was something else that happened today, I can't even remember, and now I thought I had pizza or cauliflower crust in the freezer. There's no cauliflower crust. Made this whole long snippet about me making my famous pizza, and now that's not happening. So I salvaged the freezer for what I could find and kind of what we had in the fridge, which isn't too much. So based off how many macros I have left today and what I want to be eating and I'm craving, I'm still craving a pizza. So that is gonna happen today. I bought this from Trader Joe's. I don't know if it's good or not, but Ras and I are gonna share this. It's Focaccia Primavera. So we'll split that in half for the both of us. And then I also bought this new rice, cauliflower, and butternut squash risotto, which I am very excited to try from Trader Joe's. And then I was like, how am I gonna get some more veggies? So I'm gonna do the rainbow cauliflower mix in. This might be a funky co combination. And then I'm also to get a little bit more carbs because your girl eats about 400 carbs a day is the turmeric white rice we have left over from Ricky Fierro's Kitchen, Fierro's Signature. If you guys want a meal prep company in San Diego, I'm not paid at all. I pay for I pay for my meals weekly from Ricky because they are amazing and he's a small business, so I love supporting small businesses. Um, I'm gonna link them down below if you guys do wanna buy their meals. Of course, I would have the most boring thing, turmeric white rice, but he has other amazing macro meals you guys can get on there. So I'm gonna do the risotto mixed with that white rice with the cauliflower and then I'm gonna throw on the chicken for some protein and then maybe just a few extra fats. Um, so I'm gonna tr throw together a little stir fry. All right, the focaccia primavera is about to go in the oven and you guys, it is so small. I'm a little disappointed. But can you just answer the question? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's no pizza. Why not? Why you tell me that? It's not even funny. God. Why is there a pizza? That's not funny. The frozen riced cauliflower risotto. Was it called that? Butternut squash? Looks good so far. Okay, so I did the shredded kale instead of the frozen cauliflower just because I forgot that I had these in the fridge. So I want to get rid of this first before I start doing any sort of frozen veggies. Enjoying my lemon ginger seltzer water from Trader Joe's. I pretty much buy everything from Trader Joe's. That could be in a whole nother vlog in itself, a whole grocery haul, what I buy at the grocery store. I'm really happy with how these risotto rice bowls turned out. Now just waiting on the chicken to warm up. And then I'm gonna cut through this focaccia, which I'm so excited to give you guys a review of.
Okay, what do you guys think? Should I try this focaccia pizza before Ras and I eat together or should I wait for him? I think I'm gonna go with trying it first. I'll take a very small piece and I'm just gonna give you guys a little review. One more bite. I actually think it's really good with the egg whites and the spinach in there. And the crust is very crispy. It's also very soft though. Crispy and soft, I don't think that makes any sense, but the crust tastes really good. So I actually would recommend this if I had to give it a rating. Six point five out of ten, average. Not like out of your world amazing, but I think good enough to get some cravings tonight for some sort of pizza. I think it did the trick, and I didn't have to prepare it at all. I'm gonna give you guys the rundown of the dinner tonight, and then I might call this a wrap for day in the eating, unless you want to see Ras and I eat together. But at this moment, Ras is fixing some lights outside, so I don't even know if we're gonna eat together. But let me give you the lowdown. All right, so the leftover chicken that Russ made on the Traeger Grill mixed with those frozen risotto mix from Trader Joe's, some shredded kale and that turmeric rice from Ricky, and then this as a side, the focaccia Trader Joe's, can't even remember what it's called, the focaccia primavera. So here's a good look at the dinner tonight, and I am so ready to eat. As you can see, I do not stray away from food. Thanks everyone for joining, because I don't know if this is really officially gonna be the end of the vlog, if they're, or sorry, end of the day of the eating, or if Rasta and I are gonna eat together, but might as well close it out now. So make sure you guys like this video, comment down below if you wanna see more day in the eating, or if you wanna see me make some recipes, whatever it may be, I kinda just throw things together. As you can see, that's what I did tonight. Um, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, subscribe. I think that's everything. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Sorry, last thing, the vlog did not, <laughs> vlog did not end because I had to come back and give you guys an honest review after taking more bites than that focaccia. I don't know what it is, but I couldn't keep eating it anymore. I did not finish my last piece. I let Ross eat it. He thought it was really good. So it is not a 6.5 out of 10. It is good for one or two pieces and that's about it. Just definitely want to be honest with you guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for tuning in.